Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So today we are going to look at Kaspersky Cloud. I have been receiving lots of uh, request that we should talk about Kaspersky Cloud. So today I am here with Kaspersky Cloud. Today we are not going to cover the full part of it. Rather we'll cover only how to create an account and how you can enroll a device. All right. So let's get started with it. We'll open a portal over here. So of course to open a portal you can use any of the browsers. Um, so over here I'll use um, Edge. I'll browse to cloud.kespersky.com. If you have bought the license, your account should have been created or you can create your account and link your license. Both are possible. Uh, click on create an account over here and provide your email address over here. Okay, and here you will provide your password. And you will create an account. Once you will click on create an account, it should send you an email on your email address to activate your account and verify your account. So for that purpose, of course, you have to go to the email, whatever email you have configured, and just click on the link which has been provided. Um, so let's go there. I'm opening it in private browser because I don't want to save my credentials over here. So. I think uh, most of us know why private browsing is needed or why do we use private browsing browsing so I'll just click on this and it will give me the authentication part on my mobile which I have to accept uh, okay I'll resend because by mistake I clicked on that confirm yes okay and sign in approved and I don't want to update anything I'll go and confirm And you can see that I have received uh, this email to complete my registration. Uh, and over here, I just need to click on this. And I can click on continue. So now I'm here. Uh, as you can see, I just need to provide my credentials. Okay. And I'll be able to sign in to this. Of course, I have to accept lots of terms and conditions over here. For now, initially, let's accept the terms and condition. I have got 30 days trial. You can choose your country over here. Anybody can register for 30 days trial, by the way. You can choose your country. If you do not want, you can just skip this country part. Your decision will affect all the licenses because, of course, uh, it might vary on country to country uh, or you can just confirm whatever country you would like to choose and go ahead with now over here you have possibility to choose Kaspersky security for Microsoft Office 365 where you can protect your exchange online mailboxes OneDrive files so and so forth but I'm going for Kaspersky endpoint security for cloud and I'll click on next of course again I have to Accept this terms and condition over here also. And I can choose my country, name of the company. Over here, number of devices which I want to choose. So I'll just choose it like this. Click on next. I'll say just tech. Talk 
okay phone number I'm not interested to provide in I agree and I just put anything over here as random not a bot of course and click next and I I will have my workspace created in some time after registering to it so you can see that I have just clicked on next it will take some time and then I should have my workspace created I'll just pause this recording over here and wait for my workspace to be created so I've got a confirmation email that my company workspace is ready so I can just come over here I can go to manage my workspaces and I can see that my workspace has been created if I have any license I can just come over here and apply my licenses over here right now you know I have a trial but I can apply the license you can also go to trainings and you can uh, start demo training by the way um, cloud edition is kind of an MSP where you can create multiple tenants under your registration uh, up to you now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into this workspace over here uh, the cloud subscription comes with default policy some settings are there but of course there are certain license agreements certain things which you need to accept in order to receive those services so we will see it in just a moment so if it is taking little time don't worry about it it's a normal thing that it might take little time so as you can see now uh, we are here at getting started um, it's just a normal window you just need to click on getting started you have to accept and user license agreement uh, if you want you can just have a read through it now if you have any proxy server which needs to be there uh, for this application to have access to the internet then you need but you don't need actually uh, by the way and then you can come over here and use Kaspersky security network KSN network you have to accept the terms uh, over here for Mac I do not have Mac I I can just uncheck this and accept by the way I can do it later also so let's go it this way uh, I'm I have possibility to change endpoint detection response preview you want to use it or not any of these features you can go about it click OK then of course once you will do that you have to accept relevant uh, terms and condition for each one of them so you will go to next of course over here and once you will reach to this uh, you have to accept and user license agreement for agent then you have limitation of liability of uh, EDR which is end point detection and response then you have data discovery then once you are done you will be on this page where you can see your monitoring uh, status currently because we do not have anything so for sure you do not have anything over here available you can go to getting started and you can see that out of uh, nine I have done uh, four of them uh, the next part is where I just need to install an agent on any machine right <laughs> to do that I just need to click on user and over here you see there is a user available over here I can just send instruction you can add your other users from here but for now I'm going to send instruction to this user email address okay and as soon as I'll send this it should send an email with the instruction to my account uh, gmail account and again I just need to go to gmail account and follow the required steps so you can see instruction for installing Kaspersky security application on your device link for downloading it I'll just click on it it will start downloading the setup on my machine and you can see the status of your download over here once the download is complete I just need to uh, 
follow the normal installation. It's like one click installation where I just need to run the setup and click it once and it will do the rest of the job at itself, by itself. So this setup is somewhere around, so it's 445 MB in total on the setup size. Now the next part is to go to the directory where we have downloaded this setup and just wait for it to go through the Windows normal process of completing it. And you can see it's completed now. Um, the rest of the thing is just simple. Uh, you see right now I do not have any device over here. What I will require to do is to just right click and run as administrator. This is my practice to run it as administrator so that I don't get any issues uh, while running it. And just click on start installation and you can see now I don't have much option except stop and minimize. So I'm just going to wait for this to complete. So extracting archive is done. You can see now it is installing network agent. Then it will check the connection to the administration server means my cloud instance and you can see my cloud instance ID over here. And then of course it will start installing the Kaspersky endpoint security for Windows. So now network agent installation is done and you can see now it is basically checking the connection to administration server. From this machine I should have access to uh, my uh, Kaspersky cloud so that I should be able to connect my agent to that particular server. Now it is installing Kaspersky endpoint security for Windows. Definitely it will take little time because it has to do the proper installation procedure. You just need to be a little patient because of course installation procedure takes little time. So as you can see now installation is complete. We'll click on OK and we'll just wait and see that this device is appearing over here. It will take little time so you just need to wait for some time. Currently I can see my Kaspersky Windows is installed and you can see now it has come over here right now. The status is showing unavailable um, but you can see that device has appeared over here. Let's wait for it to run and you can see that my Kaspersky has appeared over here and if it shows this exclamation mark at the start, don't worry about it. It, it. it is about the activation. It takes a little time for Kaspersky Security Center and uh, Kaspersky Endpoint Security to sync with each other. Uh, what you can do to check if everything is fine, you can come over here in C drive. Okay. In program 86 files, you have Kaspersky Lab Network agent. There is a utility over here. KLCNGTGUI. You can run this and you can send a heartbeat. So it will send a heartbeat to your server and also you can run KLNAC check utility uh, which will actually check uh, if everything in the connection is okay. The people who have already worked with Kaspersky Security Center, they'll definitely know KLNAC check. The KLNAC check is a uh, agent utility to check if agent is able to communicate to the server. This is what you only need to do over here. Rest, it will automatically get licensed in some time. Right now you see application is not activated. It will get activated in some time and database will start uh, syncing also with the server. You don't need to do much over here because it will automatically get assigned and maximum what you can do is you can just simply come over here and you can click and assign an honor to this machine and in my case for example I have only one person 
I can assign this honor to this particular machine okay and of course as I said it would take time and it would be fine for you and you will be able to see rest definitely we'll discuss about rest of the things how we manage devices how we can manage security profiles because currently if you come over here it shows that the defi default profile is assigned to this and if you want to see the details of it you can just simply click on it and you can see the uh, default profile what is available over here definitely as I said we will look into it uh, slowly and gradually I'm not going to talk about it right now um, I'll, I'll just stop this session over here. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for. And to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.